thing was, I had quit Disney about six years before that. I came to Spain, I set up my own company, and I tried for years to understand how to be better at storytelling, at filmmaking. And uh, I've developed several projects and I failed again and again and again at getting anybody to want to buy these projects. So I was pretty discouraged. The money was running out, no jobs were coming in, none of our ideas had landed. We were essentially waiting to die. And I started working on this uh, little story and a few drawings and all, and it allowed me to kind of escape the reality a little bit. But then an opportunity came to pitch it to none other than Chris Melodandri. And I pitched him three stories and The Speak With Me was just one of them. He basically tossed it out the other two. He completely ignored the other two. But this one, he said, I want this. And um, he meant it. A lot of people come to me and say, what do you need? How much money do you invest into your pitches? And the truth is, what I found is you need a good idea and you need to know how to tell it. Can I have the book? Can I have the, the first original title? Evil Me. It was, I think, about six or seven pages of text that I wrote for this and about 20 illustrations. It's not about telling the whole story. The whole point was about the potential of what the film could be. So the actual idea, what got me interested was what happens if we have a character who's our main character, it is in his nature to be bad. I knew I, I had this main character, but what's the story? The polar opposite to that, what's that? And that's where I said, three little Girl Scouts. That's the relationship we're looking for. And that's where the idea started. A villain, three little girls, you know, world domination plot, and that's where the entertainment, and that's where the heart was because Gru needed to learn to be a father. A lot has changed. If you look at these images, you'll see that the design for the character is different. You'll see that a lot of the situations are different. A lot of the plot points are different. The minions weren't there yet. But what's essential, what made me excited about the project, the comedy and the heart are still there. I just, I was the originator of this thing. I just basically got the ball rolling, convinced other people there was something here that was worthwhile. I, I worked on it in development, the first stages, about a year, and then Illumination McGuff came in and they took over the project and they did a fantastic job. Uh, today, I'm very proud to have been a part of it. I remember the moment where I was walking around my garage, voicing out possible names for the main character. I, you know, I remember distinctly saying, Gru sounds like a villain name, and anybody in the world now knows who Gru is, which is, it just blows my mind. If I'm invested, if I'm excited about an idea, then I'm working on that all the time. It happens in the shower, it happens at work, it happens before I go to sleep, it happens, you know, shouldn't say while I'm driving. I mean, your mind wanders to it um, every waking minute. The biggest danger you have is that you fall in love with your own ideas. For a long time I was developing projects that I was in love with. I didn't test them to see if anybody else would care. And you learn to have the guts to kill off your own project if the answer is no, no one cares, you know? Because that's the hardest thing. So that's probably the biggest lesson I learned from it. For once and for all, let me say, uh, officially here, I'm not to blame for the minions. 